like vagina. I love it. I know that may offend you. I love vagina. I chose to. Mm. I hope I'm not offending you. You like it. I like breastlessness too. I like ass, thighs. You like chest and pussy. <laughs> Strong hands and an Adam down. <laughs> I'm not into, I'm not attracted to body parts that I already have. I don't want to put my dick in nobody's anus. You tend to be feminized or you start to indulge in all kinds of atypical behavior that black men don't typically do. It's very frustrating for me to watch TV and to see this constantly ram down, <clears throat> down my throat every goddamn day, a black man gay, a black man being feminine, a black man acting childish, black men you know, doing all types of crazy stuff, and so on. Being unfit as a real man. And so now, it has produced two things. Produce a mindset that females, black, particularly black females, are questioning whether or not they should engage in relationships with black men and seek black women, and it's telling black men that it's okay to seek relationships with men who like to dress up or who take an, an operation to be like women. In all actuality, it's not promoting the love, the powerful love between a black woman and a black man, which is what we want. And thus, the less of us that are doing that, the less likely we're going to produce families and produce offsprings that are going to carry on that same tradition. But this is what you want to put in our face. Um, just like that show on on the women's channel, on, on, on the own channel where they had something about uh, for black women and so forth. They had a transsexual on there talking about transsexual woman issues as if they are women. Transsexuals are not women. Transsexuals are men who have who have undergone a operation or basically cosmetic process to look like women. It's not the same thing and by damn by goddamn I don't have to like it and I don't want it. And that's my choice and you're not going to make me and any real black man want it and accept it. We're not going to want to fuck with nothing like that. I'm sorry. I have to use that term. No black man in his real mind wants to fuck a man that looks like a woman. And nor will you be able to replace it. I don't give a damn what operation you did. You cut it off and you... You did whatever they did, but it does not, and I don't know by experience, and I don't want to fucking know, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure th this is not a woman. Even though you d you changed yourself cosmetically, your mindset is still like a woman, it's still like a man, your DNA is still a man, and your body still functions naturally like a man. You, that has to be a horrible life to live. Taking pills every day to so that your facial hair doesn't grow. You're trying to take pills to keep your voice and a tone that's of, of a woman. You, you're wearing things. You're doing all things outside of what you naturally are. And if you know that you don't consistently do it, you're going to go back to looking just what you naturally are. And that's a man. These are sick people who have been able to bomb rush our society and bully people to believing their sick behaviors and sick minds. I don't give a damn who Malik Yoba has sex with. Man, woman, animal. But that doesn't mean I have to agree with it and accept it. And, then, and you're not going to bully me into why I should like them too. No, I'm not your sick ass. I don't want to put my dick in nobody's anus.
I'm sorry. No man in his right mind wants to do that. But this is what's going on in on TV. Sometimes I just watch TV. I just want to turn the shit off because I'm tired of seeing this shit. And then, then you got this transsexual uh, man, uh, female that's really a man talking about why he upset with black girls rock because they didn't um, on BET because they didn't accept transsexual women that are men, really men on there. If your birth certificate doesn't say it, you're not. Simple as that. We are so confused as a society. We accept any and everything. We question real shit, but then you allow all the bullshit to go through. This dude needs to be canceled. I will never support another show that this guy is on. If I, I know he was on Family Business, acting like pretending to be Jamaican and with a, with a bad accent, and he looked horrible. Um, this is you know. Uh, he looked like a just a, you know, worn out actor who's basically over the hill. Just happy to work. When the last time anybody saw Malik Gilbert with any significant role on TV? He had his heyday with that one show. He also may have did a few other little things here and there. And that was it. That's all he has going on. I'm not hating on him. But brother, you're not going to make me accept or think about or think it's okay for black men to want to date transsexual women who are really men. And they got all these millions of beautiful black sisters that need a man and want a man. But you want me to, 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 want me to tell men to, to detour, to, to, to basically to bypass that. To go mess with a trans woman that can't give me kids who don't have a real vagina, a functional real that chemically is naturally done, not by pills and operation. Why would I want that? So guys, I just wanted to talk to you all about that. I didn't want to do this video, but I decided to do it because I felt it was needed and necessary. So guys, please subscribe and share. This is D. Durrell at The Practice. Yes, I have counsel people with these type of issues and but many of the people that actually came in for counseling actually wanted help because they wanted to make a decision on whether or not they wanted to live a straight or gay life not anything bisexual they wanted to do one or the other as a counselor my job is not and I include not to sway somebody one way or the other but to help them reach the decision that is most comfortable for them long term. I care less what you choose to do. But as long as the choice that you do choose to do, you're going to commit to it and you're going to be psychologically okay with that. I'm not here judging this brother, but I'll be damned if you're going to tell me and other men that we should look at this as an alternative to dating real women. No. So guys, again, please subscribe, share, give me comments. chooses that sexuality. How do you know that, Gerald? That can contribute to those wanting to choose. So why is it that I can choose to be heterosexual, but 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 homosexuals don't choose to be homosexual? Are you serious? Gerald, come on, Gerald. I choose like vagina, Gerald. I love it. I know that may offend you. I love vagina. I chose to. Mm. I hope I'm not offending you, Gerald. But I like it. I like breastlessness too. I like ass, thighs, titties. Gerald, I know this is offending you because you like chest and pussy. <laughs>
strong hands and an Adam's apple. <laughs> I'm not into, I'm not attracted to body parts that I already have. I'm not attracted to that, Gerald. I'm sorry, man, I'm not. And I hope that doesn't offend you. 